We all know the job market's struggling, right? Yeah, it is. Unemployment keeps rising. So, how are students at one college beating the weak job market and scoring some big job offers? That's kind of strange. We're going to tell you what, uh, what's going on there when Money for Breakfast Weekend continues here in just a moment. When the job market is struggling as unemployment rises, college seniors are having a tough time coming through this, entering the workforce during a recession. But grads at one school in Salt Lake City are bucking the trend. Edward Levine is the president of Newmont University, and he joins us this morning to tell us how. Uh, Ed, Ed, the stats are phenomenal. Apparently, your grads this year have three offers each on average for more than 60000 each. That's correct, Charles. Uh, that's been consistent through Newmont's, every one of Newmont's graduating classes. Well, what is the secret to the success? How could this be? Well, it's really not, it's really not a mystery. What happens at Newmont is our students start from the beginning of their education with us through a series of classes, then, then move to projects. So they're working with big companies and entrepreneurial companies right while they're in school. They're getting professional experience while they're engaged in school. So you're saying is so that, when graduate, that element, is that one element that's the difference between that and a traditional college education? It's a lead element. Our whole program is problem and pro project based. And so our students are getting that real world experience while they're in school. And what it means is those companies actually meet and work with those students in teams of three to five. So the students get exposed to companies, companies get exposed to the students, and those companies get to experience how great the students are and hire them right out of college. Who are some of these companies that we're talking about here? They're the IBMs, the Oracles, the Ebays of the world. There are Newmont students at Microsoft, but then there are also the smaller Utah-based entrepreneurial places where students have innovative jobs and are building applications that get in use right out of college. Newmont is only, uh, what, you started in 2002. Did you open the university deliberately with this particular game plan, trying to get away from traditional, I don't know, things that hold people back? I mean, because the numbers that you're stating here are still mind-boggling to me. The, the, the numbers are very exciting, and it's, it's great to see happen every year. The, the idea that the founders of Newmont had was filling that gap between the theoretical, traditional university education and the, the needs that companies have. So we let business define the curriculum in many ways, so we keep it very current, very fresh, and very focused on what business needs are. And our students are the kind of people who really enjoy that. They like innovation, they're focused on technology, and it's a great match. Ed, considering your success rate, uh, how much is tuition and have you considered raising it? Uh, that's a great question. The tuition is $28,800 a year before scholarships. And uh, no, we are not, we, we don't feel like we're in a market where mom and dad want to see a rise in tuition. So for this year, that, that is our tuition, and that was our tuition for the last two preceding years also. The great thing about Newmont is that you're only paying that tuition for two and a half years. It's 180 credit accredited program, a real bachelor's degree in two and a half years at 28 eight a year. So you can see there's a tremendous return on investment for the student. Ed, have you been approached by other colleges or even major universities on how to replicate this in different places? We do talk to other educators. We have an ongoing dialogue with Carnegie Mellon. But we are really refining and building our program on the Newmont campus and are not ready to migrate it to other places yet. Well, I tell you what, my son loves to snowboard. He's 12 years old, uh, but you may be hearing from him real soon. Thanks a lot, Ed. You're quite welcome. Thanks for having me today.